Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. Sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathway 
And you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. Let my prayer rise up like kisses before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Oh God, I call to you, O God of Israel, O God of Israel, O This week's psalm on Holden Evening Prayer with Praying the Psalms is Psalm 104. This was the appointed psalm for the lectionary for the day of Pentecost, Sunday, May 31st. I invite you as you hear it and as you say it aloud to be aware of the gift of creation which the psalmist speaks of God's promise in that gift. Together then, let's read responsibly Psalm 104. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, with its swarms too many to number, living things both small and great. They, there go the ships to and fro, and Leviathan, which you made for the sport of it. All of them look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it to them. They gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are terrified. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, and they are created. And so you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. O Lord, rejoice in all your works. You look at the earth and it trembles. You touch the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May these words of mine please God. I will rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah. Psalm 104 is complex in its theological understanding. I would argue today that it's uh, more complex than our understanding as a whole, corporately. It can be well argued that after the Enlightenment in the 17th and 18th century, we created a God in our mind who was like a clockmaker, a God who made this wonderful clock, wound it up and simply stepped back and said, here, it's yours, enjoy, have fun. 
The psalmist is much more complicated in the theological outlook. For for the psalmist, as we heard in Psalm 104, God is present. God is present in all creation. In fact, we don't breathe without the very breath of the Spirit of God. Indeed, breathe on us, breath of God. In the psalmist today, in Psalm 104, we heard that God is in love with his creation, close to creation, always present. So we remember that in the gift of the creation story and through the gift of Christ who was made flesh and lived with us, we remember that God is present, was present in creation. And God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In that, we can recognize that this is a gift that God loves very much. And that while God loves humanity, of course, God also loves all of creation. So as we read Psalms like 104, we do well to remember that God is present. God is with us. And God blesses us with creation, but also gives us the wonderful responsibility of caring for it. The powerful gift of Psalm 104 is present in just that. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for your creation. We are blessed by it. Empower us to remember that it is your gift to us. And so it is our gift to share, to share with all of creation, not just humans, but all creatures, all living things. And it is, of course, our gift to share on for generations to come, for the universe and its future. Bless us in that, Lord. Give us the power and the wisdom to use it accordingly and to celebrate the gift that you have so freely given. It's in Jesus' name we always ask. Amen. During the season of Pentecost, we turn to many wonderful hymns and songs that help us remember the coming of the Holy Spirit into our life. This year, we will turn to the song, Spirit of the Living God. The version that we have uh, is sung by my good friend, Jan church Urbanic. And I also jump in in the process of the song, and I invite you to do the same. As we hear it again and again, learn it and pray it. And remember that it is a prayer song. We'll have it during our corporate prayers. We'll have it uh, on this important Holden Evening Prayer with praying the Psalms. So now let's turn to that song in prayer as you're able to sing along, but most certainly do pray along with Spirit of the Living God.
By your power, great God, our Lord Jesus Christ, you healed the sick and gave new hope to the hopeless. Though we cannot command or possess your power, we pray for those in need of your healing gifts this day. Mend all wounds, soothe fevered brows, and make broken people whole again. Help us to welcome every healing as a sign that, though death is against us, you are for us and have promised renewed and risen life in our Lord Jesus. We pray for those in affliction, Lord Christ. You came into the world as one of us and suffered with us as we do. As we go through the trials of recent days, help us to realize that you are with us at all times and in all things, and in you there is life. We are thankful for all who are serving this day in health services. Grant those who take care of others, who serve in that way, grant them courage and hopefulness in their work. Give them security in their own health conditions and sustain them by your loving presence. We pray these things in the name of our Lord Jesus and the one who has taught us to pray his prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, 
the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God, praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. i